All right, good morning, everybody. Okay, nice. Can you see me? Okay, nice. So everything are fine, right? Sound and Okay, nice. Voice is clear. Okay. <clears throat> okay, nice. So today we talk about price action, right? But price action is a big chapter. So one by one, definitely I'll cover it. First, I already given a price action a webinar, I think two to three months ago. So today, another webinar about the price action method. So most important thing, you know, uh, the price action method is the most important uh, way to enter in this market. So if you are master in the price action method, so definitely your trading, uh, uh, trading winning ratio will be, uh, it will be high. So that is why I'm focusing on price action method. All right. And the next uh, webinar, I'm gonna uh, explain when to enter in this market in a life by using various trading strategy. So definitely you stay with me in the next webinar. Uh, it will be next Friday, I think, let me check it. I think six uh, March, yeah, Friday, six March. Exactly how we enter in this market. So that is why I just uh, I just named that webinar, how to identify a specific point for the internet. Interesting, definitely I'll show you in my account how we trade and when we enter in this market and exactly where we place SL and the target. All right. So in that case, I'll explain one by one why I am entering. That is the important thing. So if somebody, uh, uh, somebody people who people are near to Guwahati, so our next webinar are, uh, I think 19 March, so you can attain. So it will be Wednesday, 19 March, yeah. Okay. So in this video, I'll discuss about, find out uh, the area of territory. So when we are going to use like a price action method, at that time we must find out the area of territory. So one by step by step, I'll explain what is called area and how to avoid during that uh, area. So most of the people are entering in this area and finally the price are going against their trade. All right. So next I'll discuss and enter when price is too far from area of value. What is the area of value? I'll explain and when to enter or when to not. I'll explain uh, step by step. And the next stop enter after big momentum. So most of the people are thinking, hey, price are running here very fast and there are high volume, let's start. So I'll show you why uh, there are very risk to enter in this mode. All right. So fourth, focus on how price are approaching support and resistance. All factor known uh, as a price action. All right, clear? So if you have any doubt, you can ask me anything. All right. So you can write down your questions. Uh, if you have any doubt, you can ask me. All right. So can I start now? So if you are ready, can I start now? Okay, nice. Yeah. All right. Okay, okay, good.
Okay. Okay, let me let me do one thing, another thing. Okay. Just just let me just a minute. Okay. And I'll open another window here and go to here and make it white everywhere. Make it white. So that means I need a whiteboard right where I can draw properly. So I can uh, where I can explain properly array. Right? Yeah, now this is a whiteboard. All right. So, so first step, uh, find out the area of territory. What is the meaning of area of uh, territory? So first, uh, let me tell you, suppose prices are running in a downtrend according to the price action method, and they are creating lower low and lower low. Suppose prices are running like that. Uh, let me over here, okay. So suppose price are running like that, creating lower low, lower high, and the lower low, and the lower high, and the lower low. Now you can see when price are creating lower low, and the lower low, uh, lower high, and the lower low, lower high. And here we have seen there is a lower low. So this area, let me let me explain. Suppose um, this is A point, this is B point, and this is C point. All right. Again, we have seen. Uh, suppose here, uh, this is A wave from this one, uh, and this is C. All right. So again, suppose, let me uh, uh, just a minute. So they're creating like that A point, B point, C point. Let me show you last point here. All right. So here we have seen this is a A point and uh, this is a B point. So in between this area, so we have seen this is the area. All right. This is the area. So this area called area of territory of a, a b all right this is called area of territory so this point called area of right so in between this area we are counting as a wave all right so in between this area if price are creating lower low or lower high so this lower low lower high are not recognizing is it clear let me explain once again so this is the area and the higher point and this is the lower point so in between this area when price are creating lower low lower high or lower low high this lower point and lower high we are not calculating why because this is called area all right is it clear? Do you have any doubt? Once again, so most of the people are confusing right now. So price suppose create a new low, lower high and a lower low. So this portion called area of territory. Next here, suppose this is a F area of territory. This is called B. This is called B area of territory and this is C. So this point called area of territory. This is a C point. So when price are creating lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, we are not counting because this area of territory, they are not able to this area of territory. That is why we are not counting this lower low, lower point. All right. So if price break this point, suppose they break this, they are creating another uh, area of territory. That will be another area another territory so in the, in that case when to enter in this market i'll explain uh, in our life sir all right so if you have any doubt you can ask me all right uh, 
आख है वॉइस इज ओके 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 सो लेट मी शो यू इन इन आवर लाइफ सर्ट ओके what is the time frame so time frame it depend on your trading uh, method like uh, trading uh, what type what type of trader are you all right so what type frame means let me let me let me explain then it comes to know properly all right then comes to know all right so suppose suppose this is first let me explain here so time frame doesn't matter remember all right time frame doesn't matter what type of trader you are so why let me tell you now here you can see this is i'm using daily chart all right so in a daily chart let me show you we have seen this is the wave one by one let me clear that was the wave all right and that that is the another wave that is the another wave all right so now you can see in a daily time frame we are using support and resistance have you seen it that was a resistance and that was a support all right that was a support after that finally daily they broke this support have you seen oh, sorry raised ten line that was a raised ten and they broke this raised ten and the next they create another area of territory that is the area of territory that means this is a large time frame when whatever what type of trader doesn't matter you are intraday trader swing trader day trader scalp trader most of the people are thinking hey i am just a day trader so why daily time frame is important remember that is the most important why because we must find out the support and the resistance all right we must find out the support and the resistance suppose let me let me tell you let me tell you one another example here who people uh, suppose some people are day trader right they don't need large time frame in that case we have seen they are creating higher higher low higher high and higher low so finally they fail to break this level if this guy doesn't know this is their resistance line he will start buying in this area have you got it if he bought it somewhere here here you can see price so that is why we must find out support and resistance by using large time frame so these point are telling us where support and resistance in a daily time frame right all right so when we find out this support and resistance so basically we are find out the entry and exit point so who people bought somewhere here because we have seen there was a uh, another resistance for small time frame so who people bought here he must close their position in this area so most of the people are too much greedy and holding their position area but that is a very wrong concept we must close our position somewhere here get the buy opportunity again we will buy but by taking one position you can't hold for the interday price are moving like that like that moving like that so we are buying only here buying only here and we close our position somewhere here and again we buy here and closing somewhere here position and again we are buying here like that so similarly we have seen we bought somewhere here we bought somewhere here so let me show you in this zone uh, so let me draw that was the lower point somewhere buy opportunity and uh, somewhere here was our uh, uh, like a position we are closing so in that area so in that area how many buy are forming let me tell you 
let me show you exactly why is it important let me tell you so let me tell you somewhere in this area let me jump to 15 minute chart all right not exactly somewhere i think here yeah and that that is the that is the point all right so let me show you that was a daily chart now let me show you a zone right in a small time frame like five five minutes so when we have seen in that area so in a daily time frame they are running like that all right they are running like that creating somewhere and they create new that was a supporting point and that was the supporting point in a small time frame so from this area that means from this area we are looking for buy only because according to projection method in a daily chart they are creating higher high and higher low so when they are creating higher high and higher low we are confirmed that trend is up so in that case we are looking for buy only so exactly we have seen price was retraced toward this level means this level and from this area uh, that is daily time frame all right uh, that is daily daily time frame and from this area we are looking for buy that means from this area so in that case we are looking for we are buying somewhere here buying somewhere here buying somewhere here buying somewhere here and closing position here by taking profit buying somewhere here we are not taking any sell position that is why daily time frame is most important is it clear that is why all right so here you can see buy somewhere buy somewhere buy and somewhere buy there is no sell opportunity and finally we have seen there was a resistance line all right let me yeah uh, somewhere here was that was resistance line so price gone up gone up gone up so there was a resistance we stopped buying in this area daily we place a resistance line we draw a resistance line so when price reach that resistance line that means here we stop buying in this area that is why in a daily time frame we must find out the resistance and supporting level by using price action method is it clear so here you can see that was a daily a daily time frame. have you seen it is it clear all right is it clear you must draw that and resistance and remember if price uh, break this resistance line that was multiple rejection from this area daily rejection that was price action method right and we stop buying near this resistance line if price sustain above this resistance will continue but in this scenario we have seen they fail to break this resistance and price start creating lower low lower high let let me show you now how they are forming uh, let me tell you that was the area of territory right that was the area of territory and that was the another area of territory now we are looking for a breakout but fail all right now here you can see that was the area of territory right let me yeah that was the area of territory and here you can see they broke this area of territory that means they come out from this area of territory have you seen it from this area price come out from this area of territory now question is that here we can see there let me draw properly exactly then you comes to know uh, let me clarify here all right so here and here and here and here we have seen they are running like that they are running like that 
right they are creating lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low lower lower low lower high right they are creating like that is it clear all right now let me let me explain again if i because price action method not a easy method right price action method is very uh, interesting and little more complicated know how to read exactly there is various type of price action method means how price are behaving what is the price character all right when uh, uh, by talking with have people we can guess his character what type of people what he exactly do all right so that is the very unique point so once you know what type of people you can avoid his bad bad things you can accept his good things all right so you must know the behavior of these people character of these people attitude what type of people so you can determine how to deal with him that is the important thing and exactly in this uh, chart we must know how price are behaving all right now here i can see we have seen that was a large uh, uh, wave we have seen and they are creating higher high and higher low and in that case we have seen that is the area of territory right that is the area of territory so most of the people are thinking hey they are creating you know, higher high higher low higher high now they are ready to create higher high lower high and lower low so in that case they are doing a big mistake but now you can see price still in between this area of territory up to this area because these price action method are not counting this prices method we are not counting because this area they are creating various type of lower low lower high lower low but this area still under this area of territory is it clear still under area of territory after that they finally broke this lower point and they are ready to run now toward downside so we stop buying now from this area we are start selling now is it clear look that was the lower point let me draw proper now how they are running right now so now we have seen that was a lower point all right that was a lower point that was the area of territory lower point and they finally broke this lower point right they come out from this area of territory and you can see after that they given a push up most of the people are thinking hey let's go for buy and they are bouncing from this area not exactly they only retrace toward this resistance line is it clear because that was multiple rejection they are creating lower low and the lower high but in territory finally they confirm by creating a new low and it is obviously they push up the price toward this resistance line and that is exactly we are looking for sell all right so similarly we have seen uh, that was a resistance line finally broke this resistance line that means from this area we start selling and we must close in this area and finally they broke here again we start selling all right that is called price x on our area of territory no audio audio is okay 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 nice your suggestion please okay 
Okay, let me let me read properly. Your suggestion, please for the time frame scalp trading during day. Uh, got your point using support and raise then. However, uh, was definitely we must find out support and resistance doesn't matter in what time frame you are going to trade they scalp swing doesn't matter you must find out the support and resistance if you are data data definitely i told if you are data data you are looking for buy 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 somewhere buy buy but we must close in this area we stop buying that is why we must find out this support and resistance so area of territory is it clear identify area of territory okay that is called area of territory next uh, next step let me tell you do not enter when price is too far from area of value what is that we comes to know what is the area of territory now next i'm telling area of value what is called area of value let me tell you one thing. Okay. Area of territory is okay. One second, please. Okay. So again, I will explain uh, again. Okay. So now, area of value. So I think this uh, this word, uh, first time you people are here, right? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some method is very uh, smooth to trade. If you know properly enough price action method, definitely you will be a master in your trading. Suppose, uh, let me tell you. Suppose uh, this is 20 EMA, price is running like that, 20 EMA. Uh, this is suppose 20 EMA, especially I'm using EMA, that is why I'm telling. So you can change, but according to my analysis and my trading strategy, I basically use EMA. So they are giving faster than SMA. All right, giving signal faster than SMA. So in that case, what happened? You know, most of the people are trading like that. Yeah. All right. Just a minute. So now you can see. Suppose respecting moving average 20. So first we have seen that was a buy. They are bouncing 20, 20, 20, and 20. All right, they are bouncing from 20. Now in that case, people are thinking, hey, price are running too far, too fast, and big momentum. At that time, you will see the volume is too high, like that volume like that it's just showing too high volume are showing people think hey volume is too high let's go for buy here let's go for buy so most of the people are entering in this zone that is the big mistake all right so when people start buying in this area what happened price drop or push uh, push back toward the moving averages so who people enter here so sl will be so we everybody knows price will go up and somewhere above here our resistance line right resistance line somewhere here above this area right now price is here and most of the people are entering hey price will go up to this resistance level mm, somebody are telling that the resistance is here and we use uh, some horizontal line by using various type of technique and they're exactly resistant are showing here let's go for buy so most of the people are entering here after that price just drop down toward the moving average somewhere they are doing sl and they are doing not working anything at the time and hit their sl exactly they will hit their sl and after that price will push up toward this raise 10 line now they are thinking hey price was running toward upside when i bought price pushed down and hit my sl again come gone gone up so what happening there people are doesn't know and that they, they are thinking that these trading strategy are not working for me 
that type of psychology problem is coming in their mind. So in that case, we must find out the area of value. So let me tell you in a life chart, uh, just a minute, <coughs> oh, sorry. So uh, let me show you in 15 minutes, uh, let me use here. So same chart I'm using, uh, let me use EMA. This is the moving average 150, well, let me use 20. Now see. Have you seen? Now I can see. Price are respecting moving average 20. This is called area of value. You never buy or never enter in this market when price are from the from this moving average. Or you can say when price is too far from area of value. All right, now we can see price just respecting moving average. Again, drop down again, price retrace toward moving average. Have you seen it? That is our sell opportunity. Most of the people are what exactly doing, you know? Now you can see, uh, here you can see, price are respecting 20, 20, and they are thinking, hey, price is uh, broke this support level. All right, they will continue to a downside and they enter here, sell. All right, so after that, you can see price are pushing up again. So when people are entering sell here, the price will hit their SL again, price drop down. So that is why you just find out of value. So that is called market behavior. It's called, it is how market are running, how, how price are respecting. So sometimes it's respecting 50 moving average. So that means that is a 50 moving average is area of values. Now you can see next, you can see who people, uh, they have seen in this scenario, uh, there is a big, uh, there big volume. People are thinking, hey, here is a extreme sell volume or let's uh, start uh, let's go for short. So people are selling here and you can see price push up toward this moving averages. So let me use your volume line then it comes to no. So beer power, all right, now volume beer power I'm going to use here. Now let's see what happened. Have you seen it? Have you got it? Now see, that is a long beer power, long beer power. Have you seen it? Uh, somewhere here, this line means this line. All right, this line, this line. Have you seen it? It's a long volume, sell volume. Have you seen? People are thinking, hey, this is the long sell volume. Let's, let, uh, let's go for short. So who people are uh, placing sell order, what happened? Right, push up, they hit their SL. So let me check it how many points are from this area. People are selling here, here. 22 rupees are there. Who gonna place 22 rupees SL? Hardly you will place five rupees, three rupees, four rupees. All right, 22 rupees push up. So definitely 200% sure it will hit your SL. Sell volume is okay. Everything is fine. But your problem is that you are not able to find out area of value is it clear is it clear how to find out the area of values okay so most of the people are entering doing big mistake i'm telling again and again again and again don't do that mistake that is the important thing most important so always find out area of values. All right. Next. Stop enter after a big momentum. So here we have seen that was a big momentum. 
all right this wave we have seen this big momentum let me tell you one let me let me uh, let me uh, tell you one example so it is uh, related with you all right so suppose uh, this is a u all right and this is you you guys so suppose you run from this a point uh, this is a point to b point this is the b point all right this is the b point too fast all right whatever you have energy you use uh, to reach that b point from a point to b point all right you use your full energy you run from a point to b point so after that what happened after that what happened suppose this is the c point this is the c point do you think you can run more further or more faster than uh, a point to b point than c point right C can you run more faster in this area without taking can you run anybody who use entire energy to reach b point from a point he use entire energy from a point to b point without taking any rest and he run more faster than a point to b point to c point he can't run in that area he need a rest in that area he need a rest now most of the youtuber or something people are telling that there is a huge momentum we have seen this is a big momentum definitely that is a you know no but most of the people are thinking hey we have seen that this is a big momentum they are creating long long candle it will go down or further but they are doing big mistake they are thinking they don't know that this guy need a rest now when at that time people are entering cell when he reached that b point and people are entering here and thinking he will run fast toward c point without taking a rest and people are entering here to the cell to uh, uh, toward the cell all right so let me show you something like that and let me let me let me tell you all right so let me use some okay five, 15 minutes 15 minutes all right so here you can see five minutes or something like 15 minutes let me show you exactly yeah now where supporting line are there so for example this is a supporting line all right and same example this is the a point and this is the b point and this is the c point and this is the area and this is the area and already this guy is somewhere here somewhere here he is already now we know this guy destination his goal on his c point all right and we know this move will uh, reach that level of this area suppose this is the c point suppose for example this is a, a point for example and this is the b point and similarly here you have seen and everybody know this is the c point is the target we know 608 level is target all right this is the c point but who people this guy use his to reach this b point to 
B point, now here we have seen, now he need a rest. So most of the people are thinking, hey, it will continue toward the C point. He don't have that much of energy to reach that C point. All right, this point. So in that case, he need a rest. He is taking a rest in this area. He's taking a rest, a rest in this area. So most of the people are entering here for the cell. This is a big misstep. In that case, most of the people are thinking, hey, this is a big momentum. It will hit this C point. He have seen this guy is running too fast to, toward the C, B point. And he is thinking most of the people who people are watching here, watching here, most of the people are watching this, this guy. And they have seen this guy is running too fast. He have energy and continuously he will reach this area. He will, he will hit this target. So that is why people are beating here because they are not thinking that he need a rest. So that is why most of the people are thinking, hey, this is the support. It will hit this supporting line and the price here we have seen big mom, uh, momentum and the people are started selling in this area. That is the most important thing. They are not thinking he need a rest. So when price are taking rest and pushing up toward this moving, uh, moving area of values, area of values, that is the important thing. All right. When we have seen price are near the area of values, that is our sell momentum, a uh, sell opportunity. When he take a rest sometime in this area, so after that, when he will start moving toward the C point, so we will be in that area. That is the logic behind this projection method. This is, yeah, right. That is the most important thing. Is it clear? That is why I told according to the price action method buy or don't enter when you have seen a big momentum. All right. So always wait to uh, wait uh, to exactly when price are trying to run again after taking a rest. So in that case, most of the people are using getter indicator getter. So I think somewhere I explain what is getter and how to identify. So most of the people are thinking when price are sideways, price are running too fast, they are entering in this market. Remember when price are running too fast, people are entering, don't enter. Always wait when price are sideways. When price are sideways, that means they are taking a rest and they are ready to run now. Remember, when price are taking a rest, when price are running in a range, or you can say sideways, you can say soppy market, exactly just wait when Price are running in a sideway, exactly you just wait to enter in this market. All right. So when price run too far, don't enter. Leave it the market. Again, wait to take a rest. When price will take a rest, so start selling according to your sell indicator. So everywhere you will find that method. Everywhere. After taking a rest, price start running. So somewhere here you can see price was taking a rest. Have you seen it? Price was price run in this area. After that, they are taking a rest. They are not able to low, lower, high, lower, low. After that, price you can see becoming a soapy. They are low volatility, low volume. Have you seen it? That was the you just see wave, first wave, second you can see wave are reducing. Have you seen it? Price are reducing. Have you seen it? Wave are reducing. That was a big. That was another small, that was another small, that was another small and smaller and even smaller and even smaller. When they are forming, that means their price is sideways. And when price are forming this type of method, you are ready to take action in that case. So after that, finally, you can see price run like that. So similarly, here you can see uh, price are taking a rest. Have you seen it? Price are taking it to run too fast and now they are taking a rest. 
rest, 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 right? This is most of the people are thinking, hey, this is a shopping market. How can I enter in this market? Not exactly. Nobody are telling you enter to this in this area. Exactly. We need a specific rule to the entry and exit in this market. So we have this market. So in that case, we are using some uh, breakout trading strategy, uh, bounce strategy, something like that. So after giving a big uh, rest, have you seen it? So let me show you exactly. So finally, we have seen they are creating like that and they are running in this range. That That is the range of this market. So finally, we have seen they broke this, right? They broke this range and again retrace and run from this area. That is the important entry point. And always ready when price are sideways. Definitely, they will give a big move, all right? Okay. Now, next. Focus on how price are approaching support and resistance. That is the another most important thing. Let me tell you one secret. So uh, most of the people never tell you where to enter in this market or exactly uh, when to not. All right. So let me a most important secret. Uh, uh, this topic uh, I can say focus on price are approaching support and resistance. How they are approaching support and resistance. What is the meaning of this? All right, let, let me let me find some support and resistance here. Let me zoom a little more than you we comes to know support and resistance now. Uh, this is the life uh, chart. Uh, let me show you. Everybody knows this point uh, and here. Okay. That is last swing point. All right, let me find out this support and resistance. This is the resistance point. Now see, that was a resistance, multiple rejection we have seen there, right? The hit and the reverse, hit and reverse. We have seen there is two time, they are testing this area, but fail. Next we have seen that is price hit and reverse break. They fail to break this uh, resistance line. Now, when price break this resistance line, you just see in a daily chart how they are approaching. Let me zoom a little more than you comes to know. How price are approaching now. All right, where was that? Somewhere. We're gone. Let me zoom a little more. All right. This area, let me zoom a little more. Yeah. This point now. Now I can see this. Uh, this is a resistance line, right? We know everybody, this is the resistance line. There was multiple rejection in this area in our previous market. Uh, and behavior we have seen multiple rejection was this uh, resistance line. Now you can see when price are approaching, when when they broke this resistance and they continue toward upside. Now you can see how price are approaching. In that case, you can see we have seen there was a small candle followed by a large candle. That means this is a big momentum candle when price are approaching this resistance line. When they approach uh, this type of method, uh, you can see first we have seen this is a small candle. And uh, after that, we have seen there is a big candle when price are approaching. That means there is a large momentum. Let me let me explain a real like a, a example with you. So then you comes to know why it happened like that. All right. So let me tell you. Suppose there was something like uh, this is the root. All right. This is the root. 
all right and somewhere here so suppose you people are pushing something like that all right so you just uh, something like that you are pushing so first uh, another one here we have seen uh, all right so let me tell you with with the example first here uh, in this area we have seen there is two people are pushing this car all right there is two people are pushing this car but this area because there is little more high hill and after that next people are adding in this area they are pushing three people all right they have three people are pushing this area so we have seen people are increasing when uh, this high was approaching when people are increasing from this area again and again it probability to break this point right they can push this car to this level is it clear this scenario if you find like here that that is a higher point somewhere here and same scenario we have seen this is a car this is the car same car they are pushing toward this side toward this side and that toward this side and first we have seen there was a four people all right there was four people they are pushing four people are pushing this car toward this side and when when these higher points are approaching the people are reducing now there is two people so do you think is it the probability to uh, push the car toward this level there is no probability because the people are reducing right uh, first we have seen there was a four people they have a, enough energy and strength and next we have seen when price are approaching when uh, this this high point the people are reducing that means they are they are losing their momentum they're losing their volume their momentum. it is a high probability they can break this higher point when people are increasing near this high point it is a probability to they uh, they will push the car toward this area so similarly you can see here when pushing first we have seen this is a small candle that means low volume low people are buying in that case next we have seen little more increasing so finally we have seen people are increases fully right there is a high momentum high volume so in that case it is a probability to break this level all right so next you can see another uh, somewhere here you can see another example suppose we have seen there was a resistance line another resistance line we have seen there was a multiple rejection 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 right so let me remove this area so here you can see that was previous rejection point of rejection rejection and the support support like that there all right so in that case you can see they are reducing that was a large volume was there in that case now we can see finally they are reducing and when approaching this supporting line and when momentum or you can say next scenario where people are reducing to push this car to so similarly we have seen when they are approaching this is low volume candle it's a probability to uh, price will not able to break this supporting point it is a probability to reverse from this area all right so that is why we must know how price are approaching uh, support and resistance is it clear how price are approaching this is also price action method this is a part of price action method so you must know how price are approaching this support and resistance so why is it important you know why is it important because 
suppose we are selling from this area selling from this area continuously in, in our uh, small time frame we are start selling but in this area we stop selling all right sometime we have seen some sell order somewhere below this uh, supporting line people are thinking here let's go they broke this supporting line let's sell it not exactly price action method are telling us they are losing their momentum when they are approaching this supporting line so stop selling now this area we are looking for counter trade have you got it when we enter buy in that case so in a small time frame this area will indicating us as a downtrend but when prices are approaching this area we are looking for buy that means we are going to trade against the trade that is called counter trade during this scenario let me show you in a small time frame like that so this point uh, let me draw this this point right that point you can you can you can see here that is the uh i can say what what called downtrend all right let me show you exactly yeah now i can see now i can see this is a small time frame here have you seen it this is a small time frame is it clear now most of the people are doing hey it's a, they broke this area now you can see in a small time frame like 15 minutes we have seen that was a downtrend if you want to use your moving average you will find the bounce back trading strategy whatever you can use right let me use 20 moving average then you comes to know oh, and another 50 moving average i want to use like 50 another moving average let me change the color to red they're bouncing all right they're bouncing you can see now price you can see price are bouncing from this area right bouncing from this area retrace bouncing that means there was a sell opportunity again retrace that is a sell opportunity because we are not looking for buy because trend is down so price again retrace toward this area so it is a sell opportunity here we have seen there is a sell opportunity but there are no sell opportunity now we are looking for buy now we can see they are running in a downtrend when price rule is what when price is running in a downtrend we are looking for sell but we are looking for sell here definitely we sold it we booked our profit all right every every trade we are sold all right and we booked our profit booked our profit now we are not looking for sell now we are looking for buy that means we are trying to go against the trend what is the trend trend is the downtrend now in this area we are looking for buy that means we are going to we are looking for uh, buy because we are going against the trend that means we are counter trading right now why we are counter trading now because in a large time frame when price are approaching this area this supporting area they lose their momentum right they are forming like a small candle like large candle followed by a small candle followed by even smaller candle followed by small uh, even smaller candle that means they are losing their momentum it is a high probability to reverse from this area it is a probability that price will not able to break this supporting line and it is a probability to reverse from this area that is why in a small time frame we start buying that is why we are going against the trend that is we are why we are a counter trading in this area remember we are not a counter trading in this area we are not a counter trading in this area we are only seller in that area we are not looking for buy All right finally when they approach this supporting line we confirm according to our price action method they are losing their momentum and in that case we are going to against the trend all right that means next scenario what i told that is the high point that is the car people are pushing this car this is the pushing this car 
and the pushing this car. That means here we have seen four people are pushing this car first. Next, we have seen three people are pushing this car. Next, we have seen two people are only there. That means people are reducing from this area. When uh, approaching this higher point, right? The people are reducing. When people are reducing, it is a probability to not able to push this car toward this point and it will revert back again. It is clear. I'm I'm whatever possible. I'm explaining uh, very easily, right? So with the live market or whatever. So I don't know anybody can explain like that, but I'm trying to ex uh, explain how to adapting. Yeah, Mr. Uh, Oru. Mugam, definitely I already explained how to identify trend continue to reversal or big moment candle, then smaller candle and continue to the big and more confirmation with MSCD. Okay, MSCD, uh, you can use MSCD, but MSCD definitely not using like that. MSCD are using divergence. That is uh, that is why we are using wave uh, wave. All right, so I'll I'll show you MSCD also when we confirm. Uh, if you apply here MSCD, it will be more uh, double confirmation. Right? I'll 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 explain. Yeah, RSI MSCD. Yeah, definitely, Mr. Viplop. We can use that RSI and MSCD. So that is called a divergence. I already my previous webinar. I think how to identify the price divergence. All right. Which, uh, which is the trading terminal? I'm using MT4. MT4 is the world among the best trading platform. This is MT4, Metadata 4. Uh, okay, drop test, uh, drop how I identify. Okay, yes, great. Explain soon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay. Okay. Okay, this is Alice Blue. It's it's a paid paid software. It's not a free paid uh, software. It is totally analytical software, and this is a paid software. Yeah, you can you can talk with the supporting team. They they will provide. I think uh, 500 per month. Uh, this software. All right. Okay. I, okay. Can you please prepare? Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Iliot wave, okay, okay. Iliot wave, okay. Already, I already given about the Iliot wave. Uh, so I have this is a paid course also Fibonacci in Udemy or somewhere like that. So it's I think 700 or 800 uh, Fibonacci full course because that is a paid course. O already I given that one um, Fibonacci course in my YouTube channel or I think uh, in Allies Blue YouTube channel, sir. Uh, so can I join this course for the 30 minute and probably stand same time time frame. definitely definitely that means in a large time frame you find out the support and resistance how they approaching what I'm telling uh, let me clear once again so most of the people I have seen they have a big confused about the time frame all right most of the people uh, that is a big uh, confused about the time frame let me explain uh, about the time frame, all right. So in a daily time frame or H4 time frame, we are just to find out the support and the resistance only for the data, all right. So let me tell you once again here. Um, all right, let me tell you. So first you can see in a small time frame, this is a 15 minute, but daily time frame, in a daily time frame, this is a support daily time frame. That is the resistance line daily time frame. All right. When it, when you see in a daily time frame, they are approaching like that. They are forming like small candle and even small candle as small candle. That means in a daily time frame, this supporting line they are forming like they are losing their momentum when candle are approaching toward this support. 
they are losing their momentum continuously. So that is why I already drawn this picture. Four people are pushing toward this higher point. After that, one by one, they are um, uh, they're decreasing, right? So same thing you can see that was a large seller momentum. Next, less seller momentum. Third, less seller momentum. And that means they are losing their momentum continuously. So after that, we are entering in a small time frame for entire five minute, one minute, whatever you can trade. That means we are selling somewhere here, 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 somewhere we are start selling. But when we reach that supporting line, that means we stop selling because in a daily they are losing their momentum and we are ready to buy now, right? In that case, we are going against the trade, a trend, otherwise we never goes against the trend, all right? If you take 30 minutes, then that's most of this, uh, yeah, definitely. Please explain how in the start, how to enter the stop and exit using the 15 minute time and bank nifty scalp trading. Sarvana, next the webinar will be live webinar, Friday from, 12 to 1 p.m. and I'll be live in this market and exactly I'll show you how I trade in this market in a live life market. So I'll place my buy order and sell order and sell everything. I'll explain why I am entering, what trading strategy, what confirmation are uh, uh, using for enter here and why I'm placing SL, why I'm placing targets somewhere here, how the money management, everything I'll explain clearly. All right, that will be most important webinar for everybody, right? So this is uh, off market, this is not a live market. So next webinar, I'll be in a live market. So I'll place exactly buy and sell. All right, that 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 will be good, I think. Okay. Definitely, I'll add Telegram. Telegram add. So some platform I'm creating. That is why I'm not able to up update everything because so definitely very short. Uh, shortly, I'll upload. Yesterday, crude oil same type of technique using. Okay, okay, crude oil. Yesterday I was not in market, so some uh, personal I was busy. okay okay thanks for the version and thanks for yeah thanks thanks everybody you possible to please uh change the winner okay okay evening okay <laughs> okay let me think once again so evening uh how it will be so definitely i'll try i'll try okay Thanks. Okay, thanks for everybody uh, giving your valuable time. So definitely I'm trying to explain. So most of the time, so this, uh, uh, you can say this price action method is too big course. So definitely I'll create a course uh, about this price action method because it is tech, it's taking uh, time to explain everything we want to A to Z, right? So basically I'm creating uh, like a, online courses right now uh, so that will be very uh, like every indicator i'm creating at least four to five hour so it is very difficult to explain in a one hour and in a live market when we are creating this course so it will be like four hour five hour course will be there and exactly i'm showing there where we are buying where we are selling where we placing a sell and exactly we are using like that, like as a pivot point is also support and is extremely right, extremely exactly. Pivot point also showing support. Support in a resistance line uses uh, use at least three confirmation. One is Fibonacci can identify you can identify support and resistance. Second trend line like horizontal diagonal like where I am placing previous higher point lower point, and the third pivot point and four you can use like moving averages. Some people are using like option data for you find out the support and resistance. But according to me, 
diagonal and horizontal line and the moving average these two criteria are giving me proper support and resistance according to my mind and i'm using this method only all right okay so the pivot point also there are various type of pivot uh, Fibonacci pivot point, normal pivot point, Camarilla pivot point, like uh, another various type of at least five to six type of pivot point are there. So you can go to my website. So I already explained everything, how to identify, how to calculate. All right. So you can read properly, but according to my analysis, uh, this is a moving average and diagonal uh, trend line and horizontal trend line are identifying the best support and a resistance all right okay uh, i have three website so you just visit to my youtube channel and go to description you'll you'll find my website are there it's called hornprofit.com so every trading strategy of basic knowledge i'm explaining there so most of the i have seen most of the overseas uh viewer are there from like uk us germany like that uh, arabian country people are there all right so you can you can you can read also i'm writing very easily very normal language so i'm not using very tough language so even i have given some how to project the market so you can go through and you can read there again and again you comes to know how to analyze for the large uh like position trading or like that how to scalping for fo forecasting all right 